morning. I hope you can hear me. I'm multitasking. <laughs> I'm um, making my morning coffee and then I have to run upstairs because um, it's project day today. Although I don't know how much uh, work we're, at, we're gonna get done because I'm in a team of four and one of the, the like the team lead, he's always in meetings, that, and I'm the only um, one of the three who's in. The other two are one's sick and one's out off for Christmas now. So I don't know. Anyway, I've got lots of other things to be getting on with. So work's not an issue in terms of quantity. I washed my hair this morning as well. <coughs> oh, gee, I just don't feel like washing my hair, you know, and it's cold. It's not too bad at the moment. Now it's um, now we're back in the plus degrees. Then you definitely feel it in the house. Anyway, um, last night, so Eliana picked me up. She picked Annika up, and then we went over to Michelle's house and we met Anissa there. So that's the five of us who went to Ibiza um, this year. Um, and the idea, the get together, was to discuss um, next year's girls' trip which was we all we had agreed months and months ago we all would really really want to go to Tel Aviv which is in Israel however I um, I already spoke to Ellie and I said listen hands up I can't afford another girls trip next year uh, but I'll come along just because it's um gezellig, which is like it's cozy it's nice to be with you all um Anyway, so there was a discussion about the dates and everything, and I said, well, you know, listen, girls, I can't afford a girls' trip next year. I mean, I'm, I'm going, I've already told you this, I'm going to Marrakesh in March on a girls' trip. Have to go over to the UK, because, yeah, the kids haven't been for over three years now. Uh, we've not had a family holiday for over three years, and I said to Lawrence, that's the top priority, that... At, it, at the very least, William, we t go on a family holiday with William, and I've got a couple of other things, and it, it's just not, you know, and on top of everything else that's going on. And they were really sweet, and they were totally understood. Um, but then what they decided was, which was really sweet, um, they said, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to choose a different destination for next year, and then we'll do Tel Aviv in 24. If you can come with us then and I said well yeah because I'm only, I'm only gonna do max one girls trip a year because uh, so ne next year will be Marrakesh with Alice and Natalie and Bernadette and then I'll do 24 with the uh we, we call ourselves the Ibiza girls <laughs> so isn't that nice so they've decided they're going to Lisbon now which is um Portugal and I'm actually really happy because I've been to Portugal several times and I, I just, I don't know, Lisbon's not on one of my, you know, bucket list destinations. Israel is, I'd love to go. Uh, just, you know, the whole history of the place. Um, and then we, we sort of banded around a few other um, cities. Um, Elian really wants to go to Marrakesh. She's not been before. The other girls, I think uh, Michelle and, and um, Annika have been. So I said, well... I don't mind doing repeat destinations, so um, we'll see. Anyway, so that was really sweet of them. They're so nice. They're like, oh, it won't be the same without you. And I was like, oh. And Lawrence said, yeah, come on, I'm sure we can stretch it. And I said, I don't, I don't want to be in a situation where, you know, I can't um, afford to pay for something or even I get there and I can't afford to do anything. That would be rubbish. So I'm being, I'm being very grown up and sensible. Anyway, the kettle's just boiled. Uh, I think what I'll do today, maybe in my lunch break, I've got um, a package that Jeanette sent me. Uh, we did like a Christmas swap. And um, the, many of you will know that the last few years we've done like an advent, but this year we were just so busy and being sick and all the rest of it. So we just did a little Christmas swap. And um, Jeanette's arrived um over a week ago now and I opened my birthday present was in it so you would have seen that uh, and then I was messaging with Jeanette the other night and um, I said you know when can I open this do I have to wait till Christmas day or and she said no open it when you like so I think I think I'll open that at lunchtime with you guys and we'll see what she sent because I'm thinking I'm guessing now I'm guessing there's a project bag in there and I'm guessing that there's some wool and I'm thinking hmm Christmas Eve cast on if you're a knitter, you'll know what I mean. Right, kettle spoiled, I'm going to make a coffee and then I'm going to go up to 
my cosy, messy craft room. See you later. Okay, I'm just on my lunch break. So, let's open this. Sorry, rustling. So I've got three packages. Uh, what to open? I think this is a pattern. Let's open this. I'm gonna put my granny glasses on. <sighs> Keep an eye on the time. Um, Oh, she she is nice washi tape as well, like mail. Not nice. Let's have a look. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, how cute is that? Wabbit, little bunny rabbit pattern. Super cute. And I think these accessories, yeah, the dress and the hat. How cute is that? Wabbit, I've not heard of that pattern before. Hot butter yarns. Okay, well, let's have a look. I think this is squidgy open. Feels like yarn. Ooh. Oh nice. Oh look at these. Oh, I've not seen this yarn before. So it's a little bundle of minis in different, I think they're all DK are they? I wonder if that pattern's DK then. I bet it is you know. I bet that's why she's giving me a DK pattern. Um, yarns. Oh, look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? That that feels very toothy, very rustic. Gorgeous. What is this? this? I'm sure it must be. I wonder if this is by. Oh, I'll ask Jeanette later. Oh, gorgeous. I don't have a lot of DK actually in my stash. Oh, that's nice as well. Lovely, lovely. Right, I'll open the biggie. I've, I think I know what's in this. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a gorgeous. Look, Christmas bag. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's really, really vintage style. The snowman. Jeanette likes polka dots as well. And it's a uh, draw, drawstring oh, with one of Tim's knots. And there's goodies in here. Oh my gosh, there's goodies in here. Wow. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, even the lining. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Not lovely, that. Oh, love it. Love, love, love it. I'm actually using one of Jeanette's Christmas bags now. Jeanette knows I love orange chocolate. And we don't have this brand over here. I have to have a little piece of chocolate because I'm on my lunch break. Right, here's the package. My gosh. There's loads of stuff in here. What's this? Oh, oh, that's also lovely. Look at that. Like a little notions pouch. A zipper one. Oh, and the lining too. Oh, that's gorgeous. Nice. Oh, I thought I could smell. Mmm, lavender pouch. Oh, that fabric's so nice. Isn't that lovely. I've got loads of these little little baggies. I'm just gonna open them all now. What's this? Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I bet I know who this is who made this. Oh, isn't that lovely? A little bee tag. I wonder if it's from Maria. No, I don't think it is C and P. So gorgeous. It's ceramic as well. I'll put it in my Not Notions pouch so it doesn't get lost. I'll pop it in there. 
got all these snowflake stickers on them as well. Isn't it nice? So nice. Oh my God, that's so cute. Look at that. Oh my God, what a dinky, dinky little tiny panel. Oh my God, it's so tiny. Look at the size of that. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I've got stitch markers in this. Oh, look at that with the little um, hexy. Is it showing up? Oh my God, it's, like, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. Jeanette, you've sent loads of stuff here. Oh, so spoiling me. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is so nice. This um ribbon, this took me hours to make. How nice is that? Oh, that's lovely. I've not seen that before. Sorry, I'm crinkling. Oh, it's just made me a cup of coffee. So we're gonna all oh, nice, always very, very handy. Hand cream, caskets and hand cream. I don't know if that's blurry. Let's have a whiff. Original caskets and oh that's lovely. Mm, very floral. Definitely need that at the moment. I actually keep a hand cream by my um, computer upstairs. Mm, that's oh, that's lovely. Mm. Smells really summery. Mm. Lovely. Two more. This is a much better use of my uh, lunch break. Oh, oh my God. That's also... <gasps> Look, another ceramic tag. Be kind. Isn't that gorgeous? I might actually put that, um, I've got um, like a glass carafe that I put, um, put like like lemony water in it. Um, and when people are over for dinner, just put some tap water on the table. I might actually put that on my carafe. <gasps> That's so nice. Pop it in this little bag. Or little buttons. Oh, how cute are they? I don't want to get them out, so I might, I might crop them. Look, these are all little buttons. It's like a sewing needle, a sewing machine, little um, bobbin threads, scissors, thimble. How cute is that? And little hearts. I never see little things like this over here. Oh, that's so cute. Aren't they nice? I love that little needle. Is that actually the button that you sew on? I bet you sew it on through the eye. How nice is that? The little detail in it. Right. All opened. I'm glad I've opened that now. Because if I'd have opened it on Christmas Day, it's going to be really busy here. You know, I'll be in between like cooking tidying up, seeing to the kids, having a nice time. I wouldn't have been able to um, sit and really appreciate them all properly, so mm, that smells lovely. I still smell the lavender. Right, if you're watching Jeanette, thank you very much. I hope she's okay, actually. She was coming down with something, fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll message her in a bit. Um, absolutely love everything. I'm gonna crack open the chocolate, treat myself to a little, just one or two cheeky pieces with my coffee. And then uh, back up to work. I think I'm going to finish early today. I went to um, dialed into a meeting this morning, and uh, it was cancelled. There was um, I spoke to a colleague, and he said, "There's nobody here. Everybody seems to be on holiday." <coughs> anyway, right. I'm going to go and show Lawrence my goodies and uh, have some chocolate. Luckily, I'm the only one in the house who likes orange chocolate. I guess it's all for me then. See you later.